project cards here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. Today we are here to back up our newbie soldering video. Now many of you armchair professionals out there said that it wasn't a strong solder which means it would break apart real easy. Well, I wanna show you just how strong it truly is. If you look at this video, you can go to that video and see that this is the same wire that was soldered, it has not been altered in any way, shape or form. It's the same exact one. I'm going to show you just how strong this is. Even though we didn't use a flux on it, people said that the uh, actual soldering iron was too small to do this and it was a butted up joint. Let's see how strong this truly is. Now as you know, we are not into making fake videos or videos that uh, are not true. Everything that we show you is how we do it and how it's worked for us. So all I'm actually going to do here is put an S hook on that wire. There's the same joint right there, same wire. I'm going to hang it with a piece of wire from a hook up here. Hang that down like that. I've got it up so you can see the actual soldered joint. We are going to take 10 pound dumbbells. Two of them. We'll take these little rigs right here, hang them there so we can put these weights in there. Okay, there's 10 pounds. And these are real dumbbells, solid. Take this one, turn it over here. I can actually curl these dumbbells, believe it or not. Okay, there they are hanging. 10 pounders. Let's move it around a little bit. Okay, let's clang them so you know they're real. 20 pounds. And let's go up to the joint up here. No gimmicks. There it is right there. You've seen how we soldered it. So if you can picture taking a 20 pound bag of dog food and hanging it from this soldered joint, it wasn't twisted together, it wasn't anything. The wires were pressed together till they intertwined, soldered until the solder melted into the metal. Now I don't know of any wire that you're going to have in your car that is going to pull 20 pounds of pressure on it. I would like to keep adding weights, but I only have these two dumbbells. What else can we add? Eight pound sludge hammer head. Let's see if we can stick that in there. Now, if my hook stays strong, I'll be good and my screw doesn't snap up there. There you go. 28 pounds hanging from that solder joint that so many armchair professionals said wouldn't be strong. You're seeing it with your own two eyes. There's nothing holding those weights up. They're right there. And there's the joint. Now let's go right up to it close so that you can see it. We'll rotate it around here so you can see it's the exact exact same joint that was soldered. Always be careful how you judge others. We only share what works here. Remember that. 